Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, back to finish off um, the ephemera in this um, journal, I hope. Um, I finished the pocket, I've sewn around that one, so I've sewn around the pocket. I've got the tags ready, I haven't backed them yet, I've got the papers here ready to back them with book page and... Um, coffee stain paper so that'll be done by the time of the flip through now this time we're going to, next we're going to do the <clears throat> it's just a belly band and I've basically taken a piece of the um, paper from the kit the, um, the print out the A4 paper and I've just cut out a little piece to um, have as the belly band now I'll just quickly ink that on the edges and then I'm just going to use my um, art glitter glue just to glue that in And then I'm going to use one of the tags from the kit. So that'll just go roughly in the middle there. Okay, the tag I will back afterwards, but it will be on the book page. So that will slip in there. So very simple, very easy got the little piece here that I'm going to use as the um, the tab at the bottom which will stop the um, tag from falling out so I'm just using a piece of book um, book page I'll just now I'm pretty sure that if I keep that I'll make sure that's and if I'm on the mat I'm right Okay, <clears throat> well, we've had a couple of days in Adelaide. We went down and saw Peter's mum and she's <laughs> fit as a mallee bull. Headed off to bingo, so we weren't allowed to stay around too long. Um, she'd won bingo the week before and they all call her, excuse the, the language, bloody Marge. She's done it again. So um, it's it's a bit of a um, a joke with them in the uh, she's in a residential care uh, no lifestyle village not residential care lifestyle village they have um, people that can pop over to check on them if they um, ring their little um, bells that they've got around their neck although I don't know that I've seen hers around her neck. But 96 she's probably thinks she doesn't need one <laughs> okay so you can see with that i just put that onto the book page and i've just turned the bottom of that up now there is a bit of a not enough glue on that so i'll just so these don't have to be really um hard to make they can be as easy as you want you don't even have to put that little tab there if you don't want to I just like to have that there so that the tab can go right to the bottom of the page if you have to glue across there well of course you, you, your tag stops when you glue there but this way it goes right to the bottom so just a bit of an ink around the edge now you can um, Tiss this up if you want to. Actually, I'll might just knit the corners off as I would for a um, tag, just to give it a little bit of something, a little bit of dressing up, and um, just makes it a little bit different, doesn't it? The other one was, was plain, so. Then all it is is a bit of glue across the bottom.
and then centre that on the page. I like to go right to the bottom. And then that just sits there to stop it from going any further. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Next one is, oh, we've done the, that's the um, napkin that we popped onto the paper. Uh, the next one is, I've popped a couple of little banners on there and I've only, am I still in camera? Down a bit. Um, and I've, I've not glued them in or anything. I was going to glue across the top and then I thought, no, I'll leave them. People can change them. I like to have, as you know, areas that people can change to suit themselves. This is another bit of a belly band. And this time it's going that way, down the page. And um, basically all I do is fold, fold it over. The paper I've printed it on is thick enough that it will handle that. And then I just eyeball where I want that to go. All this measuring is um, last year's. I, I'm not a measurer, as you know. You go stop and measure. It's. I mean, it, it has its place. It, it really does have its place. But I um, would much more, much rather just go eyeball it and um, it's more spontaneous you can't change your mind <laughs> it's there it's done and um, nine times out of ten I mean you think about it as you're doing it it's um, so basically eyeball the centre again and then fold that and it will go down to the bottom. And as luck would have it, I have it up the right way. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some... Um, let one go on there. That one will. Coffee stain on the back. And then you've got an envelope, you've got a pocket, as well as a um, journaling space on the back of the envelope. I hope all is well with everybody. Beautiful day here today. The sun's shining. It's quite warm. Hence, I've got my thongs on today, my flip-flops. So the Ugg boots are off. Which is nice. It's nice to have a bit of sun. And the dog and the cat like to lay out in the sun. Oh, and while I went, um, while we were down in Adelaide, I called into some um, shops, Vinnie's and the Salvos, and got a few things. So I'll do a bit of a show and tell in the next video, perhaps. Um, I've got some books, and I've also ordered some books online, which Peter is a bit, you know, how many do you need? Well, we all know we need them. I think we need them, but I, I really do think it's time that I um, had a little break from the spending. So we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so just a bit of a zhush around the edges there, just to... Okay, so there is a little card in there that's got the 
um, <clears throat> centre of the envelope, which makes it look all in one. So that will just go in there. And then we have our pocket, our, our belly band. You can, um, oops, where are we? You can um, clip it on if you want. And I've got a, get rid of that big one. We'll put the, the, the gold ones came. I've got to go through and curl the edges of them though. Okay, and here's one of our little bands to go down the centre. It's a, a little bit of paper that looks a bit like wood, a little bit of rip rack and some music paper. So um, they'll go down the side of the page just to give it a little bit of something. I love the way this paper has got. It's from a music book. It's very old. It's got the handwriting in it. It's beautiful. Uh, so we'll just pop this in. I'm not sure how long this video will take, but we'll get as much as we can done and then I can get on to some other projects. I uh, want to do um, something with the ephemera that we made prior to this book. Um, I've got it all sitting there ready to uh, go into a journal, so we'll work that out. There we go. So that one goes in there. This one we made. And we did all the water um, and distress inks, so that one needs to go in. And because it's a little bit um, heavier, I'll just pop that in with the um, Helmer's glue. This one's the 450. I use this or the fabric one that I get either from my fabric shop here locally or... Um, Spotlight, I often find it there. So, so that's that one, and that's going central into right there. And that tag will go at the back eventually. Oh, perhaps I usually use pen, pegs, but because it's I'm still working in here, I might just pop the the paper clips there just to give it a bit of a um, just to help hold it there while we're working in the book. Oh, there we be. Okay, so there's that one, and that will go in there. So what have we next? I've got to work out something in there. I can't remember if I did anything in the other. No, I did. I left it because I just love that paper. But we'll see. We'll, we'll. Okay, so this one, um, we need to flip it out. That's why I don't like using these very much because they can... I have the potential to um, rip the pages. So I've just got a piece of um, coffee dyed paper, a little strip, and I'm just going to fold it in half. And we've got to put it onto that top part there. So a bit of Yeah, I went to a bookshop yesterday and I was speaking to the girl that run that owns it and um, she quite often throws out old books that are broken and um, you know people can't buy and 
I told her what I did and she said, oh, I can save them for you if you like. And uh, she said some of them are really old, some of them are newer. Um, some of the um, covers might be okay, but the page is not. And so um, I said, oh, yes, please. So even if the um, books aren't quite up to... Um, you know, using the cover or something. Like I said, I can always use the pages for ephemera. So that was really nice of her. She's had some magnificent books in there. I got an Edith Holden one. And I've got a Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pot and, um, from May Gibbs. Um, what else did I get? Can't remember I'll have to I'll show you anyway when I do the little um, flip through of what I got I was poor old Pete was sitting out in the car waiting and it was quite warm yesterday so when I got into back into the car he said you know it was really hot in here I said oh well thank you for waiting isn't he gorgeous there we go so that's just a little flip out there and that's done this one now the other one I put towards the top of the page, I'm going to start this at the bottom and just have a little bit up there. So we just pop that one in, I'll just ink it first just to give it a bit of what we like to give it. And that's up there, so. Yeah, so these were really, these were fun to do too. I just sat one night with the card stock and um, I'll just trim around the edge with a pair of scissors that I've got decorative scissors so I just trimmed them around and added little bits that I um, had floating in the stash and uh, we came up with that and just strengthens the page and just um, adds a bit of interest there we go this one is a pocket and a tag. So there we go. So like I say, if, if I'm going a bit fast for you, um, stop it and um, rewind it and you know go back and have another look, pause it. Um, that's what I did, you know, I, I'm sure I've said it before. When I was um, crafting, starting out and um, you know it uh, that worked for me doing it that way so hopefully it will help you guys just you know just go stop go and do whatever it is and then come back and yeah or you might have photographic memories and not have to worry about that this little tag um, that I cut out with my um, whale tail Punch from Stamping Up. This little one. It's not around. It's pretty hard to get hold of, and I was over the moon when I scored one. And my girlfriend's daughter was um, getting rid of some of her stash, and uh, I uh, I got the punch. So okay, now we'll just cut across there. And across there and this is a piece of paper from the um, the kit that I've just cut to the size I want for an envelope so that will go down there and then this is a um, piece of the same paper I've backed it onto book page and coffee dye paper and then as you can see stitched around it so um, I've tried to just use the um, kit and add it to the pages that um, I put in, the book pages and the um, plain papers and things. And um, I think it's worked out fairly pretty well, you know, especially this one is more entomology and the other one is botanical and I've sort of stuck to that. And I've probably um, used... A few of the same tags in different spots but um, if whoever um, 
once this album gets it um you know you can always add something else to those tags you don't have to keep them as they are you know you might have some book pages or um stamps or something that you would like to um, pop over the top of some of these things and um you know it's um it's quite okay to do that sort of thing it's um you know you might decide you don't like that you want to collage it um go for it it's um it's personalizing um the book or journal to the way that you um would like to um to have it so so there we go that's that little one done oops i'm losing the the mat that's the trouble with them when they're they're slippy okay what have we next um, so I've left a lot of space in between um, with pages I just um, do like to have that that's just a little journaling part card now we've got another another strip there sat last night with um, the machine well I started to hand sew little snippets of material together to make little um, uh, pieces to slip onto corners of pages and a bit like that just just little pieces and I was stitch hand stitching down the um, the middle and it looked really pretty but with my fingers and hands I was really peeved because they weren't working for me and I just couldn't manage to do um, the amount that I wanted in the time but, you know so I uh, got out the sewing machine and did them on the machine but the hand sewing ones look so nice I even said to Peter how would you like to sew some of these for me well as much as he probably would have liked to have helped that wasn't one of the ways he would like to help. He's, yeah. Now this little one, but anyway, we got the tags done, so that was good. I sewed them and they look all right. This little one, again, I'm going to put it onto a um, book page. And this is a pocket from the kit. All I'm going to do is punch out a little circle that was a good catch and just ink that a little bit there and stick it in so the beauty of those you don't have to do anything they're all done for you and like I said you can make your own like I did in the previous one um, but um, you know this is easy and the presentation paper that I print on, it's 140 GSM, I think. Um, or 120, no, 140, I think. And um, it's um, quite sturdy, so it's not going to go anywhere. So that just fits there. This little one will go in there. A little piece of calico or something on the top as a tab. There's that one. I'll just a bit of glue came out then by the look of that. Okay. Now we have the shirt. So this will okay. So with this one, I basically, these will be covered with book page and, um, and this. I'll be putting across the bottom here, I'm just going to put the um, coffee dyed paper. 
do that like that at the start. Turn it up, up that way. So I've just opened the whole pocket up. Add some glue of your choice. Choose the one I want and find the fold. Whoops. Okay, let me just cut that off. And then just down the center there. And that folds back. down properly now I am going to go from that corner straight up to the top there just trim that little piece off there part here that's the collar so to speak I'm just going to make it go straight across there and then it will like fold underneath a bit and I just want to have that I don't want the, the B or whatever it's called I just want like that Trim that piece off. And again, down the centre. Why isn't that sticking there? You put all the glue on and it doesn't want to stick.
not quite. I'm just going to fold it down a fraction. It's going to be down a little bit lower than it was, but that's okay. I'm just go across there. And then that's just going, that's it piece that's off an off cut so that will just fit in there nicely Let's trim it up. And then we have our little our pocket. Now I will so that I will cover those two with that paper. And I will place that one on there. Like that. I'll stencil around and then these will go in the pockets. One in front and one behind but that's how I covered that little pocket up now you could if you wanted to um, stamp something on there um, I may stamp um, a little bug or something on there perhaps because seeing it's some um, a bit buggy this one so that'll be on that page I think that when I do the flip through, that's what we'll, I'll have done on that one. But I just wanted to show you how I um, how I did that little pocket. And then I think we have you know, a couple of little banners on that page. Oh, I just love that snail. And then the back of the book is just another little pocket to go in here. That one off. And hold that open. Um, now I was tossing up. I think because that one's sideways, I might go with the the dung beetle. I think they I think it is. I mean, some of these people don't like the, but they're all all part of the big wide buggy world out there, aren't they? I think they're gorgeous. So that one goes in here. And that's this one is from the kit. I've just printed um, more to a page so that they are um, slightly smaller. Um, and you just get um, a nice effect from it and I'll just go like that and we might just pop him on the side here and I will I think make a tag out of this one so that 
goes there. Then the last page, a lucky last, I've taken this piece out of um, one of the sheets and I'll just ink around it. I've stitched around this pocket. And I'm just going to get out of the way. Just going to pop him down on there. And then I've just got the pay, the tags to make for in that, and that I'll do that with book page um, or the one of the sheets of um, paper. And um, we'll show you all of that in the final flip through. Um, Okay, and to finish off, where did I put it there? Yeah. To finish off the tag, I didn't want to cover the um, the book page as such, but I wanted to just do a little bit more to it than just um, you know than covering it up and. Oops, I know. <clears throat> so I thought, well, I've. I'll do a little bit of stenciling. Now this this stencil came from um, Kerry at Witchcraft You Do. She has some amazing um, stencils in her shop and um, reasonably priced too, which is fabulous. So uh, pop on over there and check out Kerry's... Um, website I'll pop the, oh yuck, yuck I'll pop that in the um, description box below I think my pad is one I've had ever since I started crafting so I think it's probably probably due for a um, I'm probably due for a new one Just pop one on that paper as well. Little one there. Yeah, I've got one up there. Just finishes it off, gives a bit of interest and takes your eye away from the um, the words. Okay, let's pop that big one just in the middle there. There we go. So like I said, that will go into the on the back page. And um, I will make the tags to go on there. Um, and um, once I've made all the tags and everything, I will do the flip, final flip through. Um, and they'll both be up on my Etsy shop. So, thank you very much for watching. We've, um, I've just shown you a few little pieces to um, add to your collection of uh, ideas. Um, I do like the way that turned out. Very nice. little bit of ephemera okay and then the next the last one I'll do I'll show you how I put the cover on and the final flip through so until then happy crafting bye for now